In this lab, you're going to learn how to streamline a workflow with a model. Using the QGIS Desktop Graphical Modeler, you'll string together tools using the output of one operation as the input for the next. So then you can later edit the model parameters and share it with others. In this first task, I'll just explore the lab data and think about how I can address the scenario parameters with the data that I have. So this involves translating the scenario parameters into individual GIS operations. So the scenario is that the company is looking to lease a helipad at an airport for their company helicopter. This company is situated in Nueces County, Texas, and wants the helipad to be within three miles of the Corpus Christi city limits, but not within the city limits. The pilots request that the airport or heliport be within a half mile of any source of water, and it must also be within a mile from a county road. Since you have some GIS knowledge, you're being asked to find the best solution. So here I have QGIS Desktop open with the five data sets for this project, airports, city boundaries, counties, roads, and water features. And I'll just start by organizing the data layers in the layers panel so that I have points on top of lines on top of polygons. So the first parameter is that this heliport must be located within Nueces County. So since I have a counties layer for the whole lower 48, I'll want to select Nueces County I'll need to look at the attributes and identify which column will be useful for that. So I can open up the attribute table and see that there is a county name and a state name. So I'll need to use those attributes to select out Nueces County and save it as a new shapefile. The second parameter is identifying the airports. Since I'm only interested in Nueces County, I can use that to clip Texas-wide airports layer to just Nueces County. The third parameter is that the airport must be within three miles of Corpus Christi, but not within the city limits. So I'll need to select out from the city boundaries, just the city boundary for Corpus Christi. Again, I'll have to look at the attributes, determine what fields to use for that. And then I can use a buffer operation to buffer Corpus Christi by three miles, and then use an operation called difference to erase the Corpus Christi boundary from the buffer, creating a ring around Corpus Christi, which is a three mile buffer around the city limits. The fourth parameter is that it must be within a half mile of water. So I'll need to buffer the water features by a half mile. Similarly, it must be within a mile of a county road. My roads layer includes more than just county roads. So I'll have to select out just those that are county roads. So again, I'll have to look at the attributes and determine which fields I'll use to create that query expression and then buffer those county roads that I've selected by one mile. So in the next task, I'll begin building my model. 